Hello everybody, welcome back to Zoe Bad Blood Collectibles and guys, today on the channel we are going to be reviewing SH Figure Arts Thor, Love and Thunder, Thor and Lady Thor you guys. This is a dope figure, both of them are really really cool figures. I got Lady Thor first and I had the Marvel Legend Thor, I will bring him up here in a second you guys, but man... After uh, playing with Lady Thor, I had no choice but to go ahead and get the uh, regular Thor himself. And man, I have to say, this is my best SH figure arts. Both of these together are my best SH figure arts. Love them better than Doctor Strange. And I love them way better than I do Thanos. And I love them better than I do my Deadpool. And I'm going to tell you why during this review you guys so before we get any further into the video you guys please give this video a like also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already help this channel grow you guys i'm on a goal to reaching a thousand subscribers you guys and once i get there i will be doing a nice expensive giveaway you guys so with that being said help this channel grow you guys support me let's talk figures let's talk toys let's talk uh marvel DC Multiverse, you guys. And also, hit that notification bell so you can stay updated when I do post my videos, you guys. So, today, I'm not going to do a Marvel, or What If Marvel Legends story today, you guys. This time, it will just be a regular review because these are the movie versions of Thor, Love, and Thunder. So, I don't mix my movie versions unless they go good with Marvel Legends as far as the comic book style. So, this will be my review of the movie figures of Thor, Love and Thunder. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here they are up close and look how good they look. You can't get no better than this with Chris, uh, with uh, Thor. This dude look just like the actual Thor character from the movie, you guys. So SH Figure Arts did a really great job with this figure. I love this figure so much. I love both of them so much. But the movie, I hate the movie, you guys. The movie was horrible. And it just made Thor look like a complete idiot. And not only that, you guys. I just, like, the the funniness and all that needs to be done. I keep saying this over and over again. We need a real serious Thor movie. You see how they're doing, Ant-Man? That's what we need from Thor, you guys. A serious, big, huge movie with Thor. Because there's so much you could do with Thor. And they just keep Taika Waititi, wherever his name is. This dude needs to stop making Marvel movies, superhero movies. Because this dude's stupid. His jokes are stupid. Everything about this movie was just plain out stupid. Especially those retarded goats. Couldn't stand him, you guys. Couldn't stand him at all. So real quick, before I go over Thor, let's move him to the side. Because this one surprised me. Which is Lady Jane Thor. Or Lady Thor, as they call her. This girl surprised me, you guys. And look at this figure right here. Looks really nice. I love for the fact that there's a bendy wire in the cape. And they went all out on this SH Figure Arts. Did a really good job with this figure. And you can see it right there, you guys. No paint flaws, no nothing. This stain is flawless as far as the paint wise. And I really do love this figure a whole lot, you guys. And one great thing that they did with the hair is for the fact that they gave her, like, these two pieces right here. You have one right here, and then you have... This piece right here, you can either put it there and make her have hair. And I'll show you that right now. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oops, I dropped it. We'll be right back. Yeah, you guys. So you can just put the hair on like that and boom, you have her with her hair in front as well. So now it's split apart. Or you could just take it off and just have this hair flowing in the back, which I really, really do like. And then you also have this one, which is a little bit different, as you can see right here. Just a little bit different, and it looks like it's a little bit skinnier than this one. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, actually, to be honest with you. So, with that being said, you can't move the head a lot with this one. You can get it side to side, but the articulation is limited. Then, as if you would take that off, you take this piece off by simply doing that. It already came off on its own, and you got way better articulation, and she still looks great, you guys. So, SH Figure Arts did a really good job with this figure. Look at the hammer. The hammer is done really, really nice. I think my only gripe and complaint, I wish the hammer could have been a little bit bigger, and for the fact that she is small, so they're trying to make it small compared to her, but it should have, it should have been a little bit bigger. I don't know. Hit me up in the comment section 
uh, below and let me know what you think about the hammer itself. But it still looks really, really dope. And this girl came with a lot of accessories. She came with more accessories than Thor, you guys. But overall, this figure is dope. It is limited on articulation, and we'll get into that soon, you guys. But overall, she is a really, really nice figure, you guys. And I was really shocked when I did open her up and start playing with her. And, man, I just fell in love with her. And I kept her in the box because I didn't want to get them dusty. I don't have them on display yet. So I had these figures for a while, but I still... Haven't opened them because I've been getting Marvel Legends a lot lately. And I haven't been really getting Marvel Legends when I got these two. And then all of a sudden, after I got these two, Marvel, I found out about the X-Men. And then I just went crazy. So with that, the overall look on her is just dope. And her cape is really, really nice as well. And the detail everywhere on this girl is just really, really nice figure. If they could have done a movie as good as they did the figures... I think this would have been dope right here. So this figure right here, just for the overall look, you guys, I'm going to give it a 10. And then now we're going to go to Thor. Oh, real quick. Well, we go over the accessories in a minute. But real quick, I did want to show you her face. Now, that does look like Jane. And especially when you have her in different, like, different moods. I mean, different moods. Uh, different positions, you guys. This figure really do look like uh, Jane from Thor Love and Thunder. So they did a really good job. SH Figure Arts did a really good job with that. So another thing that she came with was this thing right here. This thing is dope right here. This is the thing that she threw when the hammer breaks apart and then she throws it and then it comes back together. So I thought that was a nice effect. All you do is take the head off the hammer and you put that on there and I thought that was dope. So yeah, you guys, I will do that in a little bit. And then also, that's two of her accessories. She also come with another accessory. And this is the lightning effect. I thought this was really, really dope right here. Really, really cool. I really do love this. And it's just amazing to have pieces like this. And I just wish that they would have came something like this with Thor as well. But that's another one, which is really nice. And I would do that, display that one later. We already seen the hair that it comes with as well. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. And now she comes with six pairs of hands you guys so she comes with two closed fists boom right here they're real tiny and then she also comes with two holding hands all right in the left she's holding one right now and then she also comes with two open hands which is cool so this girl comes with a bunch of accessories for an sh figure arts uh figure and that's already just looks amazing look at that you guys look at the mask on this thing the eyes they captured her really good here, and I have no gripes or complaints with this figure. I think this is a perfect figure right here, you guys. Just dope, you guys. Awesome, awesome job from uh, SH Figure Arts. And now, let's go over Thor. So, look at Thor, you guys. This dude looks really, really cool. His eyes look really, really cool. Uh, they did the best they can to try and make him like Chris Hinesworth or whatever his name is. But overall... This dude is dope right here. I really do love Thor. Uh, I love that Chris Heimworth plays Thor, but it's not his fault. It's the people who make the movie that makes him look so stupid. And I think he got mad and he's tired of it. He wants Thor to be in a serious movie. And I don't blame him because everyone else is getting a serious movie except for Thor. They keep making him look like an idiot. And uh, Thor wasn't like that, you guys. Thor is like the god of, the god of thunder, you know? But look at his... Uh, his breastplate that he has is real nice. Love the gold that they put in there. This dude is just outstanding. And then look at the chrome on the hammer. I thought that was really, really nice. And then, yeah, yes, of course, the stick is wooden. So they didn't do nothing with that, which I wish they could at least make the wraps uh, show, make it a different color. I think that would have been dope right there. But overall, the, ha the hammer itself looks really, really nice, you guys. His suit looks really really clean love it and then i love for the fact that they did this a lot of people are complaining about it but with me you guys i do not complain about that i actually like it so that way you get more articulation out of them so this dude is a really awesome figure overall looks really really clean looks really really dope and this dude is just amazing and he looks good you guys i have no gripes and complaint about thor now his face I was kind of iffy about the face because I was like, man, if this thing's loose and come apart, 
I'm going to have a major problem where I'm going to have to glue the lightning face with him with his lightning eyes only. Now, I didn't like for the fact that they did this and they did it with um, a kind of with uh, Thanos when you switch out the helmet. But look at this, you guys. They only give a face and I hate for the fact that they do this because sometimes they don't stick all the way. And then in there, you just put that slide in there and put it in there and then you have his face. Now, does it show online? Yes, but when you're taking pictures, you guys, you can barely see that. And it doesn't bother you because the figure overall looks really, really cool. So you could bypass that with shading when you're taking your pictures. If you're really good, you could just not see that. And it's easy to do that, you guys. But overall, this figure looks really nice. And his head scope on this one is even better than the one. This one really looked like him right here. So I thought that was really dope. And I will change this later, you guys. Also, he comes with another head. Uh, and this one's lightning effect glued on there. So I thought that was really neat, too. Look at that chrome. Love it. Love everything about this figure. And then also, he comes with six pair of hands as well. He comes with... Uh, two holding hands as you can see right here. He has one on him already. He comes with two closed fists right here Boom and still in gold as well. They didn't shy of the goldness And then he also come with an open hand as you see one on him and then also this one you guys so real dope Real dope figure you guys and then real quick. I do want to grab my Marvel Legends Thor I think this thing is hideous, but we'll be right back all right, you guys, so here's Thor right here from SH Figure Arts, and here's Thor from Marvel Legends. Look at the height difference, and that was uh, a problem there, was the height difference. I wish they could have made Thor a little bit bigger, a little bit taller, and same with Jane. Like, SH Figure, Figure Arts sometimes don't get 6-inch scale right. They make them 6-inch, but they should be a little bit taller than 6-inch, especially Thor. Jane should have been 6-inch completely six inch but look at this dude this dude looks really really nice right here as well the suit is nice you guys i have no complaints about the suit but it's this stupid helmet that looks, just looks dumb and i do not like it at all everything else is good on this figure but the helmet just throws this figure completely off and then you could tell the difference between marvel legends even though they put a lot you could tell they put a lot into this figure as well but just overall, it's just like, this one is way better. The SH figure arts just looks a thousand times better. This door right here, look at the face. The face just not getting it, you guys, not cutting it. And I really was disappointed when I got this figure. And I really didn't like this figure at all. I was going to give it to my friend. But I ended up keeping him just in case, you guys. Just in case if he blows up in value and then I could sell him at a higher price and save some money on him so we'll see you guys but i did not like this store right here but i still have them i just kept them i am a collector so i like to hold them to my stuff as long as i can and then when i see that i can't hold on to them no longer if i run out of room and then i will get rid of them but for right now he's just stashed behind all the figures on the shelf right there you guys so overall these figures are dope so what i want to do now is exchange the heads and the weapon parts on these figures, so let's go with uh, Jane first, you guys. Jane, uh, we're gonna go over her uh, exchangeable parts real quick, and then we're gonna do the articulation. And look at that, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. His head falls off a lot with the regular face on there. Not a lot, but if you if he falls, just know that's coming apart. For some reason, I can't get him to stand right. So, anyways, you guys, let's go over articulation first with both figures. So she could do a T pose. Really good T pose, you guys. As you can see with the articulation, it's really good. Oh, one thing to re uh, to remind you guys: when you lift the shoulder up, if you do think plan on getting this, and you haven't opened it yet, or if you plan on getting it, you guys, these things are a pain in the butt. Especially if you have carpet like I do. Like these things get lost in the carpet, and these things pop off, and they are a pain in the butt looking for these things in the carpet and not just in the carpet but trying to put them back in a hole takes forever so just be careful you could pop it up and it does come off the cape does come off but just be careful but she does have a like a butterfly joint right there she also have a swivel here she has double jointed uh elbows right here which is cool and then yes as sh figure arts do really well and then also here she has a like kind of like a swivel at the thighs way up here 
and then uh, she has double jointed knees, and then she also have a toe pivot, and then a little limited articulation in the ankle uh, in the ankle part, you guys. So that kind of sucks. But here in the waist, she has an ab crunch here, and is at the waist, and she has really good ab crunch actually. I didn't think it had this much uh, ab crunch, but yeah, she has really good ab crunch. So overall, for articulation, this figure is really really nice, you guys. Really really nice. I love Jane. I just wish she was a little bit taller, but she's a girl, so she could get away with it. But that hammer just needs to be a little bit bigger. And I think this would have been a perfect figure, even though it is already a perfect figure to me, you guys, to me. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm give credit when credit is due. I think she looks really cool. Now for Thor. Let's go ahead and take his face mask off because I don't want to keep putting it back on and keeping it on now this one stays on really good I never had no problem once you put it on there it's on there so look at that look at good he looks with that on there you guys he just looks really really dope and let's go let me put this one on her first and then we go back to thor so i can show you how she looks with her regular hair and this one you can't put the other piece on there because she already come with her hair down on this one so look it look her hair is a little bit too big well, sometimes to me, I have to get used to it, but looking at it on my phone and looking at it without the phone, it like her head is too big. But then when you get on camera, she looks just fine. You guys, she looked like Jane, but not there so much. But here you can see that she does look like Jane from the side. So I thought that was pretty cool. And just different posings where you put her in different uh, posing style. She looks like Jane from the movie. So I thought that was really cool. You guys. And they just did an awesome job with her. They killed it with her. Now with Thor, Thor, same thing. I don't know if these come off with Thor. I haven't had a problem with them coming off. Neither do I want to take it off. I love capes. So Thor, he could do a T-pose as well. He does have butterfly joints right there. And you can rock it like that. He also has a swivel here. He has double jointed elbows. No, he has one jointed elbows. His is different from Jane. And I don't know why they did that. But he don't have double jointed elbows, but you can still get nice rotation at his uh, joint right here. And you can see it right here as well. I wish they would have kind of cleaned that up right there. But overall, still looks really cool, you guys. He don't have a double joint ab crunch. He has really good ab crunch at the torso. So look at that, you guys. So you can have him actually, if Gore swinging out, you can have, have him do that. And then you can have a move forward, which is dope as well. And then, boom, he has good articulation all over, you guys. At the swivel, the waist, you could put this dude in some uh, gut posing. Now, with the legs, I do have some problems with the legs, you guys, with this one. It's kind of stiff for some reason, but when you do it, if you look right here, this is how they have his uh, thing working. And it looks weird. I've never seen it before. But, yeah, he has a swivel here, but... Oh, it does go all the way out. Okay, never mind. So he does have double jointed knees as well. And it's hard to swivel this right here, but it could go forward, but backwards, like not so much, you guys. So and I like for the fact that the knee does, uh, I don't like it like that. I wish they could have fixed that. But here they do cover the joint right here. So that's cool, you guys. But overall, his articulation is really great too. I didn't even know he could do that. I didn't really spend a lot of time with these figures because... After I got them, I was already getting a bunch of Marvel Legend figures, and then I jumped right into Galactus. Got Galactus in the beginning of the, uh, not the beginning of the year, but around the 7th of January. Yeah, kind of like the beginning of the year. But yeah, you guys, these two figures are really, really nice figures. And then right here with his hammer effect, boom, you just take that off like that with that silver chrome. Because he has his lightning eyes on, you want to put that in there. And they have a place for it right here. If you can see right there, then you just put it right in there. Slide, not slide it in, but just stuff it in there like that. Boom. And you have your lightning effect. And I just wish that he would have came with more accessories like Lady Thor did. And they went all out on her. I don't know if it's the, uh, the woke nation going on right now as far as the female being... The mas the masculine figure being the man and the man taking the woman's spot. Uh that's going on in the world today, you guys. Which kind of sucks because in real life, you know, the man is always gonna be before the woman, and the woman is the one 
is the backbone. Now, God didn't make woman to be under the foot of man, but she made her to be on the side. But the man is usually the head of every household and then the woman. But in these days and times, everything's changed. Hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, I don't like to talk about religion and political beliefs, you guys. But just hit me up in the comment section below of what you think with females being more powerful and stronger than the males in the movies. Do you think it's a woke nation thing or you think it's okay? Me, I don't mind. Those they don't go overboard with it. Like with Jane, they did a really good job with her. They didn't make her seem like she's stronger than Thor. So I love that. But overall, man, it's just Disney's getting crazy with their woke nation stuff. But anyways, you guys, these figures are dope. From a 1 through 10, I'm going to give these figures a 10, you guys. I love these figures. For me, I'm going to give these figures a 10 because I really, really do love these figures. They are awesome. I do highly recommend that you get them. Only thing that sucks is the price point. So if you can find these things on sale, I, I, I tell you, go ahead and pick them up. Do not pass it on them, you guys. I almost regret it passing on these two. Found them at the comic book store. Went on here and pick them up. So right now, you guys, with that being said, let's go ahead and put these. Uh, uh, I'm going to do a couple scenes with them. I think it's going to be dope the way I do it. And I just wish Thor movie, whoever makes the next Thor movie, could take some tips on what they should do with their Thor movie. So right now, we're going to have them going against some giants, you guys. So we'll be right back. Alright you guys, so here's the Frost Giant and the Demon going against Thor and Lady Thor. Look how dope that looks, you guys. I thought that looks awesome right there. And look at Thor. Now what happened if they had that in the movie, you guys, where Thor is actually going against giants and actually like have a scene where he's fighting against the giants. I thought that would have been freaking amazing. But again, we didn't get that, you guys. We don't get that in Thor, Love, and Thunder. We didn't get them fighting against serious beasts. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. So here's Lady Thor going against the Ice Giants, you guys. Look at that. Look how dope that looks. Shout out to my father for making these Frost Giants. These are some dope, dope figures, you guys. Dope mega figures. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. There's Jane again with the lightning effect. Killing one of the ice giants. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. There's the ice giant and Lady Thor again. And like she's about to throw that hammer, you guys. We'll be right back. All right, here she is again. All right, there she is again. Knocking the living daylights out of the ice giant, you guys. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. Here she is again. Defeating the ice giants. Looking for Thor. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, here's Thor going down to hell to fight against the demon, the dark demon Hades. We'll be right back. Looking at the demon, he's about to kill him, you guys. All right, you guys, here he is again. Thor is looking at him. We'll be right back. Smiling at Thor as he's about to take his first blow. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, there's Thor again. He misses Thor, you guys. Look at the fire effect. Look at Thor jumping up in the air. Charging his light. We'll be right back. There's Thor again. Using his lightning effect. We'll be right back. Alright you guys. There's Thor again. Going toe to toe with Satan. We'll be right back. There's Thor again. Hitting this dude hard as he can. With the lightning effect. There's Thor again. Defeating Satan. And now he's about to take off his head. We'll be right back. Thor is about to give him his final blow, you guys. Alright, you guys. Here's Thor and Lady Thor looking at each other as they just defeated their enemies. At least they thought they did. There they are holding each other. Safe and sound. And then look who shows up, you guys. Yes. It is Gorg. All right, you guys, you can see Thor calling for his hammer. We'll be right back. All right, here's Thor preaching. I mean, Gord preaching to Thor and Lady Thor as they're looking at him. All right, you guys, with Thor's hammer still not here yet, as he's still trying to call for it, he's fighting against Gord with uh, Lady Thor standing in the background waiting. 
like Thor told her to. All right, here they are again. And yes, you guys, Thor did the impossible. He did what needed to be done. All right, you guys, my overall rating on these two figures are a 10 plus 10 is a 20, you guys. Yes, a 10. A 10 for each figure, you guys. These figures are really, really nice, you guys. Really, really easy to articulate. And you don't have no problem except for her cape popping off if you lift her arms too high and put pressure on it while you lifting it high. But overall, these two are awesome figures. Also moving figures as well. You saw that I mixed and matched them with McFarlane, DC Multiverse, and also some of the Marvel Legends. But they are shorter, you guys. So Thor is going to be short for a regular Thor figure, you guys, for a Marvel Legend. And I'll show you this right now by standing them next to uh, a Magneto real quick, you guys. And you see Magneto towers over him. So he, he doesn't fit well with Marvel Legends. So that sucks right there, you guys. I thought he did. That's the main reason why I got him at first. But now with these two, I'm just going to put it like on a movie shelf. And uh, imagine it's him standing next to uh, Galactus, you guys. Galactus look like a giant compared to this guy. So why not do it? Let's go ahead and bring my man Galactus on the scene. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, just real quick. Last comparison, and then we end this video, is Thor standing next to Galactus. And you can see right now Thor is tiny compared to Galactus. He barely comes to Galactus' shin. And look how tall Galactus is, you guys. Uh, I can't even keep him in the in the frame of the TV because this dude is so tall right now. Look at that, you guys. Look how tall he is compared to Thor and Love and Thunder Jane, you guys. So that shows you right there that this dude is, like, they are really, really short compared to Galactus, you guys. Galactus is just way too big for these dudes, which is perfect. If you want to put these two in a scene, you actually can, you guys. You actually can. And, yeah, you can actually do it, you guys. But look at that. Way out of focus. And still, Galactus is just a beast, you guys. So, overall, Galactus is huge. And uh, these figures are dope. Don't pass up on these. Get these Love and Thor figures if you can, you guys. These figures are amazing figures. And uh, I'm just so glad to have them. Well, sell them. I don't know yet, you guys. Because... I really can't use them for anything, basically, because Marvel Legends is totally different. But we'll see if I start doing the movie line with them in the 7-inch. And then I'll, I'll, I'll probably see. But I don't re really like their uh, movie versions of the figures through Marvel Legends. But I do collect the 7-inch scale of uh, Marvel Select, which I don't know if I'm going to uh, keep collecting that line anymore. I am waiting on the Apocalypse from... Uh, from Marvel Select, so we'll see how that goes. But other than that, you guys, I think I'm done collecting Marvel Select because I had some bad experiences, and uh, I had some bad experiences with Masco because, unfortunately, you guys just bought this dude and his arm broke the whole time. His arm was breaking off, and didn't even realize it until today. I picked him up, and yes, Bishop, one of my favorite figures from X Men, is broken. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, you guys. But guys, stay positive. Stay focused. Reach your goals if you can, you guys. Help support this channel. I uh, Hit that notification bell to stay updated when I do post my next Marvel What If Marvel Legends uh, episode, you guys. And also a whole lot more still coming, guys. We got reviews after reviews coming. We got Superman the Eradicator coming we got superboy coming we got so much more you guys so stay tuned to the channel you guys like and subscribe i will see you all in the next video thor love and thunder out